Hi there. I'm Jason Perkins. I'd like to welcome you to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia workers' compensation cases. I created this series of videos because I want to provide people who've been hurt at work with helpful information about Georgia's workers' compensation law and the benefits available to them under that law. Today, I want to talk to you about something that sometimes happens in workers' compensation cases. Um, and specifically, I want to address the question of whether you can get workers' compensation benefits after you've been fired. Now, some people worry that their workers' compensation case ends if they're fired by their employer. I can tell you that it doesn't. Um, your workers' compensation case in Georgia generally continues as long as you don't settle it. Um, but let's talk specifically about whether getting fired by your employer affects your right to workers' compensation benefits. It can affect your right to some benefits. Um, in order to address that question, we need to talk sp more specifically about what types of benefits you can receive under Georgia workers' compensation law. There's three main types of workers' compensation benefits. There are your wage loss benefits, your medical benefits, and permanent partial disability benefits. Now, your medical benefits and your permanent partial disability benefits are not really affected by getting fired by your employer. Um, in some situations, your medical benefits may be affected if you find a job somewhere else and the insurance company tries to claim that maybe you've re-injured yourself. Um, but otherwise, your medical and permanent partial disability benefits generally aren't affected by being fired. However, your wage loss benefits can be. Um, now, what we need to look at here is that after you're fired, you have lost earnings. Um, you're losing money. You're not making your wages from your employer anymore. Um, and there are several things that need to be considered in whether the workers' compensation insurance company is going to have to pay you workers' compensation wage loss benefits in that situation. There's two types of workers' compensation wage loss benefits in Georgia temporary total disability and temporary partial disability. The main difference between temporary total disability and temporary partial disability is that you receive temporary total disability benefits if you're unable to work at all as a result of your injury, and temporary partial disability benefits if you're working but making less money as a result of your injury. Now, when you're fired by your employer, there are several factors that come into account in determining whether you're going to receive temporary total disability benefits or temporary partial disability benefits afterward. Um, the first factor that is considered is when you're, whether you're working or not at the time of your injury and whether you're already receiving workers' compensation benefits. So you may be out of work receiving workers' compensation benefits and receive a letter from your employer that they've let you go. Um, or you might have been working in some capacity when your employer fired you. Um, that's a factor in considering whether they've got to keep paying your workers' compensation benefits afterward or not. If you are out of work and receiving workers' compensation benefits when you're fired, you're generally going to continue receiving them afterward. Now, if you were working at the time that you were fired, then there's another couple of factors that need to be considered. Um, the first factor is what was the reason that you were fired by your employer? That's something that's important in considering whether they're going to have to start paying your workers' compensation benefits or not. And the second factor is whether after you're fired, are you able to continue doing line duty work or are you totally out of work as a result of your injury? Um, has your doctor totally disabled you and said that you can't work at all? Um, now, these factors play in, but the law in Georgia is very confusing as to exactly whether you have to, what you have to prove to a judge in order to get your workers' compensation benefits started after being fired, whether the insurance company is going to have to start them automatically. Um, little differences in these factors can make a big difference as far as whether the insurance company is going to have to pay you benefits or not, or whether you're going to have to go to court and prove to a judge that you can't find work elsewhere as a result of your injury in order to get those benefits. Um, because the law is very confusing in this area, I'd encourage you that if you've been fired um, and the insurance company doesn't just automatically start paying your workers' compensation benefits, that you reach out to a workers' compensation attorney and schedule a free consultation about your case to make sure that it's handled correctly afterward and to make sure that you understand how Georgia workers' compensation law is going to apply to the specific facts of your case 
and the reason that you were letting go. I hope you found this video about whether you can get workers' compensation benefits after being fired by your employer helpful. If you have, please let me know that. One of the best ways that you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. If you've got some more questions about workers' compensation, I definitely encourage you to reach out and schedule a free consultation with me. Um, there's two easy ways that you can set up that free consultation. One is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen. And the other is by visiting our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. You can complete and submit our free consultation request form there. And a member of our workers' compensation team will reach out to you and get a consultation for you scheduled with me. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today. And I want to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.